brands, uh, along with our FMN drilling, where we drilled our highest grade uh, drill hole ever in, in the summer. We had 23 meters of 37 grams. Uh, neither of these holes are in our resource, uh, nor is our alpine drilling where we drilled eight meters of 20 grams. So towards this year, we're going to be drilling more and hopefully leading to a, a revised resource come next year. Welcome to Assay TV for viewers tuning into the discussion. We are featuring an update from West Haven Gold, a junior company exploring British Columbia's newest gold belt. And I'm pleased to be speaking once again with Gareth Thomas uh, for an update. Hello, Gareth. Hi, Adam. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Yeah, and I hope you're well. And thanks for taking time to catch up with us again in 2023, nice and early on. And we've got some great news to get into to begin with. Uh, why don't you take us through what's been happening at the flagship property at Shovel Nose um, along the gold boat belt? Can you explain uh, what's been going on there in terms of these new intersections that you've made? Yeah, sure. So we, yeah, I guess it's been a little while since we last chatted and we put out some significant news on both our uh, Skunka property, which was our inaugural uh, drill program, which we'll touch on after. But uh, just last last week, we announced uh, uh, Bonanza Grade Gold uh, on our uh, shovel nose project there on what's known as the Fran Zone, which is uh, an outcrop that actually surfaces there. And uh, we last drilled that in 2020, which, which was when we discovered it as well. So we didn't put a whole bunch of uh, focus on this particular outcrop. So end of last year, we, we thought it was uh, good to see what we're kind of looking at there in terms of Bonanza grade there in terms of gold silver numbers. So we drilled a 50 meter uh, step out from the last previous drilled hole there. And uh, we intercepted about 6.2 meters of uh, 70 grams per ton gold and uh, which was actually within about 12 meters of 39 grams per ton gold. So yeah, kind of as we, uh, well, uh, beat our expectations, but yeah, nice to see that Bonanza grade style uh, mineralization right there at surface. Literally you walk on top of it. So for us here, that's uh, not something we're gonna be focused on in terms of looking to extract that anytime soon, but it's nice okay. to have sort of in our back pocket and uh, getting an idea of what's there for ounces as it is. Uh, like I say, you're sitting there on surface. So yeah, that was um, a nice sort of surprise. And it just goes to show the high grade nature of this shovel nose project in this vein zone one. Uh, just the more we drill, the more high grade shoots we we hit. I um, mean, they can be a bit sporadic, but that's, uh, we just got to chase them down and get a, a real good feeling of where they are and idea of where they are. So yeah, but uh, very good news for us. And uh, we'll be back there starting the rigs up uh, relatively soon. And we'll be starting heading northwest along there from that last previous uh, hole, 333. Mm, excellent. And so that has any interplay with the south zone that you would already got the over a million uh, ounce gold equivalent um, maiden resource uh, defined at. Um, what's the interplay with the south zone there? Or is it more a case of sort of working out um, how you can define that resource and then you're going to allocate resources elsewhere to Skinko. Yeah. So that, uh, within regards to the South zone, there were about, uh, as a crow flies about two and a half kilometers, uh, along this vein zone one trend. So we're, uh, which is over four kilometers. Now we've traced this and it's open in both directions. So we're, we're certainly looking at both ends of this to the Southeast to the, uh, towards the Northwest. And that's where the Franz Falls is up to the northwest end. The south zone's down to the bottom of the southeast. And this Franz, uh, along with our FMN drilling, where we drilled our highest grade uh, drill hole ever in, in the summer, 12 meters of, or sorry, 23 meters of 37 grams. Uh, neither of these holes are in our resource, uh, nor is our alpine drilling, where we drilled eight meters of 20 grams. So um, towards this year, we're going to be drilling more and hopefully leading to a a revised resource come next year. But uh, yeah, so we had uh, two weeks ago, we put out some uh, inaugural results on our Skunka program as it was our inaugural drill program there. This pro project had to be drilled since uh, 2007. And uh, then even back then they drilled a total of about 7,000 meters over about 40 holes. So we drilled 13 high priority targets there. And the big news there is we uh, extended the strike there uh, by more than more than double, we we extended that to 1.6 kilometers. So by about 900 meters, we extended that strike to the JJ West. 
So a lot of potential in between the JJ zone and the JJ West. Um, we, we tested some areas a little further back, some, some veins and hit some higher grade mineralization, but, uh, almost more importantly, we hit a lot of this low grade, uh, uh, disseminated gold in the foot wall, which is very intriguing. You know, we're getting 57 meters of uh, 0.75 grams per ton gold, 48 meters of, uh, 1.25 grams per ton gold. So seeing this lower grade, uh, foot wall minerals, mineralization along with the vein. So, yeah, very early days at Skunka, but um, yeah, we lots of potential there, and we'll be uh, look forward to getting back there in the um, in in the late spring, early summer. Yep, excellent. Um, so, take us through that strategy then for this part of the year. Are you going to be um, allocating resources across the two and developing um, uh, each resource uh, in tandem? How is it going to develop from here? Yeah, so the plan now, and and actually. Uh, Funny, we're we're having an all day meeting here, starting in uh, in a couple hours here with the whole team. We are here for the roundup uh, resource conference, so we're all here to to really solidify our plans. But generally, um, from from our our ideas here is to start up a rig here sometime in mid February. Mm-hmm. Um, sometimes we're drilling by now in in January, mid January, but we're waiting for some some more results to come in. Some uh, final assays are, are pending, due back sort of in the, in the coming weeks here, but. Uh, start a rig up on uh, shovel nose come mid February, late February, uh, somewhere around the Franz, as we discussed, heading northwards there. Then we have a big gap to fill there between the FMN back to the southeast towards the Tower Alpine and gradually into the south zone. And then, of course, we have hundreds of targets outlying that area. Um, so, starting there, then come, <clears throat> we got a lot of work to do back on Skunka in terms of boots on ground. We got uh, field programs that we're, we'd like to do there before we go back to drill. I, I think when we go back there, we want to have uh, not just the JJ West and the JJ where we'll be drilling for certain, but we also want to have some other targets that we can uh, are ready to drill as well. So we're, we're, and then of course we have the Prospect Valley project, which we'll be doing some work on as well, which we haven't drilled since 2016. So um, and our other project, the Skunk and North, which is very grassroots, we'll also uh, have to work on there as well. So, yeah, lots of things on the go. And um, uh, important, uh, I think, to to listeners and uh, and shareholders or potential uh, investors is that we'll, we'll have a good um, news release out here in, a, in the coming weeks, really outline our plans, uh, our, what we're looking to do for the by end of, end of the year, our deliverables, our goals, and kind of what we're focusing on, which I think will We'll paint a clear sort of picture as to where uh, West Haven is going here. Yep. So you'll have some specific uh, drill program dates, things like that. Exactly. Yeah. Dates more or less, but also targets, ones that we're, we're pretty excited about here. Over the past mm-hmm. couple months here, while the drill's been uh, idle, we've been uh, doing a lot of good work behind the scenes here and and uh, delineating some targets. So yeah, we'll be a lot of good things to, to talk about in, uh, in an upcoming uh, press release here. Yeah, excellent. You're poised for a busier year almost, and with what you're going on at Skunka, Prospect Valley, um, and the JJ West Zone, etc., um, you're covering all areas. But what's brought this on in terms of this approach? Is it the, is it is it is it that you've got uh, the capital raise from last year that you you've still got working capital that you're putting that out to work? Um, I'm just trying to get a sense of um, you know how you're accelerating this project um, just for interested viewers. Yeah, and that's that's a good point there about the the Franco uh, Nevada transaction we we announced in September. So yeah, under that I'll just uh, refresh uh, refresh that we we raised uh, the equivalent was about uh, I shouldn't say we raised we 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 uh, received about ten and a half million dollars from Franco in a combination mm-hmm. of a royalty sale and uh, a financing there as well, and uh, that equated to about ten and a half million uh, Canadian dollars. Uh, today we're sitting about eight million dollars, so uh, really well positioned here to to take on the start of the year for sure. Then we get another, we'll be receiving another two uh, or so million back in May June ish from our uh, BC Exploration Tax Credit, and then uh, an additional ten percent back from being in the Pine Beetle Kill area. So yeah, expecting a couple million bucks back then. Um, so yeah, this will this will all be uh, you know very um, <clears throat> well aligned here for the season in terms of being financed at the moment. We're we're in a very good position there, and uh, yeah, I, I think it's um, you know there's been some challenging market. It was we were talking uh, before yeah. off air there. It's things are 
or improving certainly in the gold space. And uh, yeah. hopefully that continues and that can trickle down to the, to us and uh, the juniors here, but it's been challenging. I think sometimes you're, you're going, are you getting the recognition uh, that we deserve by mm-hmm. spending money in these markets? And I think we got, we're very cognizant of our share structure and, and cognizant of our shareholders. And we want to uh, make sure that money is being well spent and getting that appreciation. So Sometimes it's a little bit of waiting to see what this market's going to do. And, and, and do we go gangbusters or do we, do we, we're always going to be working and doing great work, but is, is it, uh, is it time to really let, let go? So we'll, we'll um, probably get some more answers today after our meeting and, uh, and probably have that in the press release in the coming weeks as well. Yeah. But you sense it's going to be a potentially a gangbusters year. I think think so. I think it's, uh, I I think we, we are certainly eager to find some new things and there's uh, really only one way to do that. And that's to to spend the money to, to do that, to, um, to unearth that. So yeah, we're, uh, we, we, we just got a lot of things we need to narrow down now, a lot of targets, which is a good thing. We're certainly not complaining, but, uh, um, yeah, there's going to be, I think there's, it's going to be a busy year for West Haven. Yeah, you mentioned you're waiting for a little bit back from the labs as well. Um, wh- how much have you got back up? Oh, nice. We, got, uh, we don't have much left now. We're we're on the end, the tail end of. Uh, we got about five holes from Skunka, <laughs> and then probably uh, about uh, ten or so from Shovel Nose. So, um, yeah, we're we're almost done there, and we'll have a, a a release with those out here once they come back as well. But uh, yeah, it's it's uh, we're looking forward to a busy 2023. Yeah, excellent. Okay, that's wonderful. Thanks for the update. Um, exciting times uh, to see the company and the, the projects moving um, in so many directions with a positive uh, well price behind us. Um, and I think it would be great if we can catch up again once you've had the uh, the AGM and the strategy meet so that we can work out um, exactly what are some of these targets and some of these deliverables um, that you're going to be setting for the year ahead. That'd be great. Yeah, no, always appreciate it, Adam. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll look forward to talking to you soon. Yeah, fantastic. Thank you.